guys. Uh, today we're going to be building PNW SD70M-2 in Minecraft. Now, I just I just learned how to use OBS, which is a free recording program. It took a while for me to learn, but I just used a bunch of tutorials to learn. But anyway, I have to get a new recording program because with my old one, I recorded a video here with this, and it just deleted after I stopped. So I may have I'm like. I guess I can call it a rant about it. And then all of a sudden it deleted all my videos, which sucks because I had a new SpongeBob video done. And not only that, but I also had a real fanning video out. So after that I got so mad I deleted it. I bet you guys would probably be like, like probably deleting it mad too, but even if you weren't, I was. And to be honest, I bet half of you guys would probably be like that too. Anyway, um, so, let's get started. So let's grab yellow wool, oak slab, oak stairs, um, black concrete, and I guess that's it, really. So let's grab yellow wool, add a 2 by 3 with one in the top corners, and let's add some oak stairs in the diagonal corners followed by a row of three and then above the middle one add an oak slab and then behind it let's add a two by two yellow wool and make the second row a two by five then after that we're gonna grab black concrete and starting in the middle row make it 27 blocks long so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Then with the yellow wool, let's add another 2 by 5. And then do the same thing in the front. So just add the 2 by 3 with one in the top corners. But this time there's going to be no plow in the back. It's just going to be like this. And then with the black concrete, let's make the middle part three blocks wide um, then let's grab a couple other basic materials like oak fence some nether brick slab tripwire hook and some iron trapdoor and oak trapdoor. And let's add oak fences on all these sides here, as well as over here. And uh, what next? Add triple hooks on the back with another brick slab. And on the front, let's add triple hooks to the side of the oak slab. And then, um, after that, um, let's face this way, standing here, and add oak trapdoor, and then right click it once. And then after that, with the iron trapdoor, let's make a little stairwell with it. These are all some pretty cool changes I've decided to make, by the way. And I'm really glad I changed now. But anyway, this is what we got now. Wait, I'm going to see if this actually works. <gasps> you can actually climb up it. If, if you use the slabs, it doesn't work. So, that's cool. Um, next... Let's um let's do the wheels in this middle part here. So let's grab nether brick stairs, black concrete, nether brick slab, cyan terracotta, dark oak fence gate, hoppers, and daylight detectors. Oh, and nether brick fences. And with the cyan terracotta, add a pillar of two there in the front. Leave a block, I mean leave two blocks, add another 
leave two blocks again, add another, and do the same thing on the other side. Oh my goodness, it won't place. Then in between here, let's wait first. In between the pillars, let's add dark oak fence gates before we do the next step. I was about to instruct. And then let's get nether brick fences and add add rows of nether brick fences in the in the middle. Then in between these pillars of cyan terracotta add nether brick slabs in between there. And then on the outsides of the cyan terracotta add hoppers. Then with the nether brick slabs. Oh wait, first before we do that, I gotta add the hoppers here. And I forgot to add the nether brick slab row there. Um, next add a row of five for nether brick slabs here. Just going to the insides. And then with the dark oak fence gate, the row the like the side closer to the inside of the engine, the middle, add dark oak fence gates on like for the back, okay, heading to the fr front like this, and on the front's going to be the other way heading to the back, and then the empty spot will have nether brick slabs. Then after that, right above the hoppers, add another nether brick slab. Oh, by the way, um, later expect a Roblox like rail fading video. I'll try to get one of those out as well. And then I'll also try to like get a SpongeBob video tomorrow as well. I can't wait to use this new recorder. It makes making videos so much easier now. Wait, did I say easier? Sorry. It was easier with the other program. The reason I switched was because, first of all, it was hardly HD at all. And second of all, it just kept glitching and messing up. It got so bad I just deleted it. Which I just said at the beginning of the video. I was going to start the cab, but I realized I still have a couple more details to do. Uh, grab birch button. Dark oak fence gates. Another brick fence. Dark oak fence, oak fence, oak fence gate, and oak trap doors. That's all the stuff we're going to need for the front details, and we'll get the back done later. Oh wait, first also, white stained glass blocks and item frames. Now, let's start. Um, so let's grab the dark oak fence gate, and on the side two stairs, add an open dark oak fence gate. And then the middle add another brick fence. And then the sides of the tripper hooks add birch buttons. Let's add an oak trap door up here with two pillars of oak fences going up right like on the sides. And then dark oak fence on the bottom sides. Above the trap door add an oak fence gate. Which should be good. Then let's add item frames on these two corner oak fences, like the bottom ones. And then add white stained glass blocks in there, and right click it once so that's sideways. Now for the back. Let's grab, oops, let's grab dark oak fence gate, levers. Dark oak buttons, dark oak fence, bedrock, I mean not bed, what, how did I get bedrock? Oak fence, oak trap door, white stained glass blocks, and item frames, so pretty much the front, but this time without another brick fence, and with levers and dark oak buttons, no birch fence, and no oak fence gate, so a lot of differences. Add a lever underneath here. Two open dark oak fence gates, and then some dark oak buttons on the sides. And then let's add the same fence pattern here from the front, except 
there's no like oak trap door, I mean fence gate up here. So it's pretty much the same as the front here, just without that fence gate there. Perfect. Now we can start with the cab and then we'll go to the back. I mean, not go to the back. We'll work our way to the back and eventually we'll be done this engine in no time. So let's grab orange concrete, black concrete, yellow wool, and nether brick stairs. Some black stained glass blocks, acacia stairs, and that's it. Maybe also some black carpet and black stained glass panes and iron bars. That's just the simple blocks for like almost full blocks or blo kind of blockish stuff. And we'll work on like high details later. Like by high details, I mean like big details. And let's grab orange concrete and add like a row five on the front. On the left side, let's make it nine blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then, um, before we continue, I just realized we forgot something. Put away everything except for the black concrete and nether brick stairs. I just realized we forgot to do that part. Let's add like a, in beneath here, let's add like three black concrete, three wide, eleven long, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now let's add row nether brick stairs on the bottom row. And then on the left side, let's grab acacia fence gate and dark oak button. And with the black concrete, let's... Oh, I also forgot something on the wheels. Man, I forgot so much stuff on the bottom. So, don't fill this block. Above all the stairs, let's add uh, black concrete. And... Leave three blocks from the back and then remove two on the very back one, add acacia fence gate, and on the front one, add a dark oak button. On the right side, let's grab an acacia button and leave four blocks from the back after filling in the whole thing with black concrete, and then add an acacia button. Now get rid of all this. And then let's grab the daylight detector, and above all these slabs, let's add a daylight detector, and right click them all once. back because we don't need to do anything else like that for a while um let's go to the right side continuing here for the right side at 11 make the like make this 11 blocks from the orange concrete one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven perfect Um, now let's grab the black concrete and add a row 5 on the front. On the right, make it line up with the orange. And on the left, just make it 6 blocks long this time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There. Now with the orange, let's add, on these two side blocks, add orange. On the right, let's add two diagonal from here, leave two blocks, and then line up the rest, and then just keep going with the orange until we get to the very last block. And on the left side, 
go diagonally, diagonally from here, add two orange concrete, and then at the very end block, add another one. Now let's grab black concrete, and in these spaces, let's add black concrete, as well as in these three rows. Like, I mean, in this row, sorry, but in these three rows. And in this front one here, let's add yellow wool, followed by regular facing nether brick stairs here. And then add a row of orange concrete, and I might as well just add this as well, because I feel like it. Um, in the front block on this row, add another orange, as well as oranges on the very end blocks here. It's probably really confusing with my row here. So this is what it should look like without those weird row things. All this is what it should look like, but I'm adding it, so if we added it too, this is what it should look like. A T-shape. Now let's add black stained glass blocks on the two windshield blocks, followed by black stained glass panes on the front. And then on the front blocks, let's add iron bars. And then let's add three orange concrete here. And then behind that, add a three by three of black concrete. And then on this whole side here, let's add acacia stairs. And with the black carpet, above all the orange and yellow wool peeking here, cover all that up. And then after that, um, let's get rid of all this stuff now. We don't need it anymore. And we're going to move on to some more advanced items. So this time we're going to get acacia trapdoor, acacia sign. Acacia buttons, acacia fence gate, birch signs, birch fence gates, birch buttons, ladders, oak buttons, and we'll get one more item after this. Let's grab the acacia sign on this yellow wall. Press enter twice, press P, three spaces, and three spaces W. Then add a birch fence gate right here, and then open it. Beneath that, add an acacia trap door there, and open that as well. With some open acacia fence gates on those blocks as well for the windshield. And then with the birch sign, we're going to add our number. I did 4301, but you can also do 4302, and maybe a few others. I don't really know all the numbers. So I'll press enter and then type in your number. This is what I'm doing. My goodness, I might have to make two parts. I'm not quite sure though if I'm going to do two parts. Um, next, let's grab ladders. And let's add a row of three ladders right there. On the left side, on these two blocks, let's add ladders. And on the right side, leave a block from like this bottom row here. And then, like from the back, leave a block. And then let's add a ladder there. Next, let's grab birch buttons, and on the front, let's add a birch button underneath the P&W sign. And then we'll grab some oak buttons, and underneath these two numbers, let's add oak buttons. And then with the acacia button, let's add an acacia button here. And with the birch button, leave one from the front, and then add a birch button here. Now that's over. Let's get rid of all these items. And this time, oh wait, we forgot something with the acacia trapdoor. Let's get stone buttons, dark oak buttons, and not oak fence, but nether brick slab and black concrete. Let's add a row of nether brick slabs right here. And behind it, let's add a row of black. Then let's grab some dark oak buttons, add two of them here, and two rows above the ladders, let's add another dark oak button, and then with the stone button, let's add one above this fence. And I forgot some of the acacia button, apparently, so let's add acacia buttons.
rows, two rows above the birch button here. And then with the acacia trapdoor, add some on this top part. Right click it once so that it's not showing much of this window. It actually looks pretty cool. And you know what? I might make two parts for this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to upload this to YouTube. And then I have to leave, but when I come back, I'll do part two. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.